My name is Derek Parham, and I'm an entrepreneur in residence at Hattery. My name is Trace Cohen. I'm a New York City entrepreneur, and uh, five months ago we launched my new company called Launch It. My name is Colin Mutchler. I'm co-founder and CEO of Loud Sauce, and we are a crowd-funded ad platform. My name is Ty Walrod, and I'm the co-founder of Bright Funds. My name is Pete Madigan, and I'm the founder of YouGroove TV. Immigration reform is a large issue. One of the main things is that there's a number of individuals in the United States now that work at large companies but are sort of trapped there. They can't actually leave to go start their own company even though they could be very good at it um, because they need to have a sponsorship from a large company to be able to start their own, uh, to, to work in America. I think being you know, a European-based entrepreneur, I think Congress needs to be a little bit easier on, on people who have skills and have you know, the, the job specifications to come over here and, and make a change. I think it's very difficult, you know, having had personal experience with my father who came over here and had a great concept for a business which was related to health and it was creating US jobs, he was investing over a million dollars into the American economy and it made it very difficult. We're in a time where um, we're not just serving Americans, like the best startups go global quickly and the fact that we can, that we don't, have, that we only have Americans working on these startups is actually, a, it's like it'll, it'll hurt us in the long run. If we have more, you know, non-Americans and Americans collaborating together inside of the United States, it's going to give us an ability as a culture and as a country to be able to collaborate across the, across the world. My strategy is to hire people who are smarter than me and in order to do that, I have to hire foreign and domestic and right now uh, we have a tech team overseas that I would love to bring uh, here full-time employment and it hasn't really been the easiest to try and do that. Um, my co-founder did grow up in India. He immigrated to the United States and without him we wouldn't have a company. I'm very grateful that he was able to negotiate the treacherous system that is U.S. immigration. Um, I do think, and I've talked personally with members of Congress, with senators, and I do think that they are attuned, they are beginning to be attuned to the needs of founders trying to build companies. And so I really think they are open to hearing stories, and that's just what it takes. It takes sharing stories from entrepreneurs to our elected leaders. And so I do think that they're mindful that we have to keep smart, innovative people in this country if we are going to grow great companies. Once you get to know someone and work with them, you want to continue that build a business. And it's interesting because you'll have people who want to build a business, but then some of them have visa issues and leave. These people still want to work together with them. So now suddenly you have one person that's in the United States, one person that's outside the United States. Now the person outside the United States is able to go create a team out in where they are, China, India, a number of other locations, the person in the United States is going to work with them. Now some people call that outsourcing, but in reality, the two people wanted to simply just work together, they're just separated because of visa issues. If we're able to keep both of them in the United States, the team will stay here.